<laughs> oh my. Well, we can just park here. We're the only people here. Yep. It's actually massive. <laughs> There's the chapel, but it's got a sauna on it. I think they wouldn't leave that as a chapel if someone wanted like a mini... A mini prayer session? No, like... Chapel wedding. Wedding ceremony, place. Yeah, that's pretty cool. By the way, just be careful of these two newish looking planks of wood because they're loose. <laughs> they're there is goldfish! Oh my god! I want to touch them. <laughs> you little. <laughs> I want to touch the fishy. No, we can't touch the fish. Why? They could have attachments. <laughs> Oh, baby. So there was a teenage boy that did in fact stay here and he fell to his death from somewhere along here, not too sure exactly where, but it was along this bit here, which didn't look like this now, where he hit his head and he unfortunately died. This place has got a little bit of history to it and a lot of people did die here apparently. That's part of the history. <laughs> Got any darts? <laughs> oh, that's cute. The gate has a personality. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jaden, and welcome to Jackass. <laughs> Push her over. <laughs> Okay. Run. I'm really scared. We were warned about this before we even did it. Yeah. There you go. It scared all of us. Yeah. Every single one of us just feels like crap. And that's not normal for us. Bit, bit on edge, to be honest with you. I mean. I'm scared. Just didn't feel right. That was you. Here's the hum. I just heard that. Not doing that, we need to get her out of here now. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> this place was built in 1870, like in the 1870s, and the first Bishop of Ballarat owned this place. His name is Michael. There's a few things we do know about Michael and things that we will not mention. Michael was the first bishop, he moved over from Dublin and basically just established himself here as somewhat of a, like a Christian celebrity, if that makes sense. He was very popular. Upstairs is where his bedroom was. Michael decided, that as, as a bishop, he had a few rules to follow. Michael liked to sometimes break those rules. There's another bishop here as well, his name is James, and obviously bishops were not allowed to marry or have any sexual relation with anybody whatsoever, but he did end up getting a partner named Liz or Elizabeth. She likes to hang out in the kitchen. So a few kids here as well. Um, the kids do like to hang out in the pool room specifically. And there is a teenager here that's ended up either falling off the back of the balcony or getting pushed off the back of the balcony. And he died right at the back. We are here for a few hours too. And before we started filming as well, we let the spirit talkers go, stuff like that. Walked around, had very, very strange vibes. Rachel's already been touched multiple times. We think that may be Michael. How do you guys feel? Fine at the moment. Pretty good. Uh, definitely certain energy in here though. Yeah. It's definitely an interesting vibe, that's mm. for sure. 
a lot of mirrors in this place I'm waiting. There's always a lot of mirrors in this place <laughs> and that's something that I'm sort of like. Oh, there's one upstairs that just reminds you of The Conjuring. Literally. <laughs> it does. It's like that. You stare at it and you're like. <laughs> that big cabinet. Fuck. That thing on top of it. <laughs> imagine if you saw your own reflection in that mirror and just grab you and pull you in. I was going to say. That would be so cool to get on camera. I don't feel like that'd be very cool to happen to you though. No, but. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll try and reach out to you if you do. Jaden's foreshadowing the night for himself. Yeah. <laughs> Going home with one less person. That's right. I, I mean, he's already been punched, host. so the next thing is to be grabbed and dragged. But it always happens to me too. It's because you opened yourself up to it. That's true. Gets dragged down the stairs, full paranormal activity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, we got some new equipment. I want to thank... Dan and Pete from Night Watchers for making some fantastic equipment. Back there with the skull and it's the Grim Pod. More than just a REM pod. And obviously Shannon from Think Labs Industrial Design. Amazing. Amazing. Well, a majority of our equipment's made by him and he's a very trusted, reliable source. If you have any questions in regards to what we may get or any questions about equipment for yourself, feel free to reach out to him. Um, he's pretty good at emails and um, we'll always leave a link in the bio in our description for where you can purchase his equipment. It just got cold in here, didn't it? Mm. It's not just me. No. Yeah, it definitely did. Temperature, got def cold. temperature definitely changed in this room. We have some stuff that you can play with, stuff that you may have seen before and stuff that may look a bit foreign to you. And we'll run you through how everything works. Anyone else hear footsteps just then? Down there? I kind of sound like it was upstairs near the staircase. I didn't hear no, one was, no one was moving. That's my stomach. <laughs> I was going to say, that sounded that like a noise. <laughs> I thought it was like humming. I thought it was, I thought it was something going, Ooh. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I thought it was an owl outside. <laughs> <laughs> Is anybody here at the moment? We don't mean any harm. We just want to have a conversation. Hello all. Oh, hello. Hi. I wonder if people were ever like kept here against their will. Surely. Yeah. Some people. Yeah, we'll try a few different rooms in here. Take some equipment, see what happens, and then we will make our way upstairs later on, and then we'll just try a few different things to see what happens. I know I'm tired from like being up early, but I feel so drained. Family death. Family death. I'm only eight. That had a light. That was not just a beep. That also one of the eyes lit up on that one. Thank you. The prism just the prism just green. turned green. Is that side green or is that side green? This that side's, side's green. green. Okay. So your side. Is your green. left. I feel so weird sitting back here, honestly. I'll push the chair in for you. I can't protect you. Is that you, Fred? You have been known as one of our protectors. I swear to fucking God, I just saw something in that room. Like it went. Really? Yeah. yeah I, as soon as she pointed that way, I heard something come from upstairs as well. We're lost here. What's that? Look. Upstairs or in let's go with that room. I lived right there. Wait, did I say I lived right there? Yes. Maybe in that room? Maybe. Dude, I can't with all the mirrors. So what? Like something just like vroom. Like, yeah, like. Oh, it went that way. Uh, no, it went that way. Sorry. Okay. Let's just let me reenact that again for you. 
Oh, I'll have a bit of a walk around. She's beautiful, by the way. Nice bedding. That's probably, probably, probably you, I think. Yes. Yeah. Hundred percent. Hello. Oh, did that just say get out? That went off. Still going off. Wait, what did mine just say? That said get out. And we're not even near it. My bones. That's a grim. Belly, the camera's in my like eyeball. Something may be following us. Fuck. Crazy. Okay. Sorry, just for one sec. As soon as we walked away from it, it starts going. That's you sitting up now. Was it the grim pod or was it the rem pod on the stairs? Uh -huh. No, I definitely sound like the grim pod. Grim pod's a bit of a sound. Yeah. Hello? It's spooky at night. Wouldn't it be cool if we got one of them to move the ball along here? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's right. Let me see. Pretty room. Oh, this is my favourite room anyway. Oh yeah, 100%. She's got really hard to breathe. No. I've, I didn't had, I've had Hazel's. I'm pretty sure one of Hazel's ancestors is following me. Probably. Keep it in check. Because she is, she is no, because she is Kiwi. So they are known to have, there was something there. That was, you felt that right? I saw that. You saw that too? Yes. I saw something like walk towards the bottom of the stairs out of the corner of my eye. That's us. No, because we walked past I, earlier. I, I said it all. I was testing it just before. Th that, whatever that was. Yeah. Like, I literally, I saw it in the corner of my eye. Mm. Interesting. Let's get the fuck well, out of here. Well, that's too. not... That one wasn't us, because I'm not moving. I'm, like, dead still, apart from my mouth. Yeah, I'm not moving either. Wait, quickly move that way. Maybe it was. Maybe. I don't like how it's back to all this hallway, dude. It makes me No, I was standing here. Ooh. Dude, I feel like everywhere you look, there's like faces. Or people poking their heads around. Yeah. Hi. You just said you had faces and it said hi. Please don't leave me alone tonight. I'm starting anymore. to feel really uncomfortable now. Fine. Like I'm on edge. Feel. Right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to go into another room and we'll just see how we feel in there. Um, are we ready? Mm -hmm. Not really, doing? but yes. What are we doing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm like shitting my dacks. I'm scared. Yeah, I don't feel, I don't feel great in here to be honest am i the only one that brought a torch i've got one in my bag i just haven't got that yet and now i'm hot again so this yeah. is just us it's just us four in here tonight oh, i'm not in here again this is paracol <laughs> <laughs> wait let me do that again this is paracol asmr It feels, it feels heavy now. Like we came here during the day and we were like, oh, it's so beautiful, it's so nice. And now it's scary. And now it's terrifying. 
I think what makes it worse as well is that we actually don't have equipment on, and that's just weirder. That's even weirder. Yeah. That's creepy. Did you just hear like a hum? Yeah. Yeah. A lot. You can all hear that, yeah? I heard something. It looks like it sounds like it's coming from around where the kitchen is. Sounds like it's like hmm. hmm, hmm, hmm. That was weird, it's got school now. What the hell is that? Do you know Is anybody in here with us at the moment? Is Michael here tonight? Joshua, did that just say it's me? Sorry, I had to stop that real quick. Did you feel a thump when I said that? Yes, but I'm sure you just said, is that Michael? And it was like, it's me. Huh. I There's the hum. I just heard that. It's like, shh, shh. That's like clear as day, man. Yeah. Is it humming or is it like a wailing? No, it's kind of like a, it's like as if it's like. Sing, yeah, it's like singing a song or something, like harmonizing. Humming it. Here it is again. Well, well, none of us were talking right then, and uh, the bars for the uh, microphone were like peaking. The energy in this place just feels so draining. Hmm. And we haven't even gone upstairs yet, tried anything yet. Yeah. And I'm really worried about the upstairs. Yeah. Shotgun being in the middle when we walk up the stairs. Well, before we filmed, oh, but when we stopped, when we came out of the dining room, what happened to you? Saw a little kid standing at the top of the stairs. Yeah. Scared the living <sighs> shit out of me. You're being very quiet, Caleb. Yeah. You're just filming away. Just doing my job. <laughs> There's also a little boy that likes to whistle. I think Tom likes to whistle. <clears throat> Someone else just whistled it? Yeah, I heard a whistle. I heard two. wasn't you? No. Good. Cause I, th I heard that. Uh, I it almost yeah. sounded like it was outside. Did you guys hear that? Is anyone else hearing that? The other whistle? Oh, I'm hearing it too, alright. Yeah, I heard that one too as well. So you guys want to try and knock him? Hello? People can't hear me. All right, we're gonna do a spirit box session. I'm gonna play the radio. Do you guys know how to use that? 
Feel free to come in here and use your words if you'd like. Feel free to come out and hang out with us if you'd like. I'm good for it. Did I say I'm 14? Where's Michael? Is James down now? Yep. I said yep. How about Liz? Is she down here too? Yep. Again. Was that you whis um, humming before, Liz? Other boys down here too. He said yes. Are we allowed in here? I said leave. Huh? I just said leave. Stop. See. Weird. Okay. All right. Um, let's go to a different place. Okay. Yeah. Even though our equipment wasn't being easily set off, we were in fact feeling consistently drained of energy. We decided that we will send Rachel through the ST session in the most haunted and darkest room that the mansion has to offer, which is in fact Michael's room. We were pre-warned about doing this due to the nature of Michael and previous female experiences. This became our shortest SD session that we have ever had to pull someone out of. I don't want to go upstairs. Okay, let's stairs are the worst. First. Stairs is where things happen. Not even that, it's just... I'm not fit, mate. I've been seen shit up these stairs all night. I know. I'm not ready. Wait, you keep watching yourself and not the steps. Now, if someone gets dragged, everyone go to the side of the railing. What the fuck, Jane? Why would you say that as we're walking up here? So we don't get hurt. <laughs> Is there one more step here? No, it's just the one. God, guys, I'm just on the <laughs> The dark room. You really think we should go there first? Holy crap. If you look at it, that's how dark it is. Even the camera is pitch black in there. Rachel. Don't you fall asleep in the in the haunted mansion? I'll sit here, okay? Sit right here. Okay. <sighs> you realise I'm probably gonna jump when you touch me, right? Huh? I'm probably gonna jump when you touch me. When when you pull me out, can you when you walk around me, go? Yeah. Like one, two, three, and then touch me. Have fun. Jesus Christ, who wore this last? Best three of us. Maid. Death. Turn. Death. Are you in here, Michael? We heard this is one of your rooms Can that you? you like to be here. Not necessary. Babe. Smash. If we get stuff like snake or you know any religious stuff, it's more than my touching. Touching. 
Hey Michael, what occurred in these rooms, mate? Hands. Fingers. Oh. Um. I see. What do you see? Run. I'm really scared. I'm coming. Brown Get hair. Fucked. Don't look over there. Look over where? Can you be more specific? Singe. Burn. Oh. Her hair. Just had brown hair come through the spirit talker as well. Yeah, there's a fireplace right next to you as well. True. Scratch her. Don't scratch her. Do not do that. Choke her. Do not touch her. Same. Beware. I understand this is your house. What if I do? I'm not going to be happy. Feel. Gentle. I don't yes. care if you're gentle or not. I'll do it. Don't. Do not. You do it, we leave. I'm working. I'm on a race. And we're going to take Rachel with us when we leave. We came are here. you are you guys standing in front of me? Not that I can. Michael, please move away from her. Two. Her. Yes, her. Plain. Un. Michael, can you tell us the story? One man here. Undress. Oh, I'm pulling her out. I'm not doing this. I'm not, I'm not doing Strangle. this. Strangle. Sorry, I'm not doing it. Put her head down. Yeah, it's me. It's me. I feel really sick. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. We need to get her out of here now. This is not a good thing. We were all about this before we even did it. Yeah. There you go. Um, not so nice Michael was here. Oh, I feel sick. What? See me. I can see something. Did you see something? Yeah. I feel really sick. Something's poked its head out from that. Also, I don't know if you're aware, but that, like, the rod that you pull to turn the light on is moving. Can you see it? Is it? Yeah. It's swaying back and forth in the hallway. Oh, in the hallway? Not in here, in the hallway, near where the stairs are. Oh, shit, it is too. Oh, for real. You see me. Okay. Hold on. We can see. Come on. moving. It was. Yeah, it is right now. Do you want to turn on the light for the stairs? We'll give it a nice big hit to make it move further. Like, I know usually in the SDs you're pretty vulnerable because you are blindfolded and you can't hear anything else, but like scared. Mm. Did you feel almost victimized? Um, I don't know. It felt like something was touching my feet. Well, like, it sounds really weird, but like blowing on my feet, like I'm 
That is very weird. Seems like every corner you look. That was us. That couldn't have been us. We didn't even walk around the corner. I'm sorry that I put you through that. I agreed to it. You are right? Yeah. That was like very draining. It was very scary. Yeah. Yeah, it was not... It wasn't going down a good path. It just didn't feel right. Upstairs is just fucking dark. So fucking draining. So let's have a little bit of a discussion about what we've been going through tonight. I mean, the best way to do it is like, it's like a yo-yo. You got your ups down. and your downs, and there's a lot of downs. And sometimes around the world. Some around the world, around. The as Some soon cradles. as we, as and soon as we come out. Going. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the yo-yo master, he just kept on yoing. <laughs> the weird thing about this place, right, is that as soon as we step inside there, you just lose like half everything changes. Like yeah. you lose your energy, you can't do it anymore. And then you come out here for a break and then all of a sudden you feel absolutely replenished and fine. Go back in. You go back in, you're done. I don't know man. This is I know I say it on every video, but I think this is by far the weirdest place that we've been at. It's hard for us to get scared yeah. recently. This night has scared the living shit out of all of us. Yeah. Yeah, like you can easily become acclimatized to doing this a lot and then you get used to it. You get used to being at places like this, but for some reason, this place in particular has scared the living It has like a very eerie vibe. It scared all of us. Yeah. Every single one of us just feels like crap. And that's not normal for us. No, we keep, at see, all. We keep seeing like heads and shadows. And yeah. Things that just don't make Shouldn't sense. Shouldn't be there. And the thing is, is that hardly any of the equipment are going off, but we're experiencing this stuff. Hmm. And that's what's weird. I think we're almost done. Let's get back in there. We'll smash out this next hour and a half or so. See so what we can get. Everything, just you walk through this door and everything just goes It's like a big, it's like a big weight on your shoulders Energy just depletes It's got pretty cold, didn't it? <laughs> it did actually, yes Um, mm, bit, bit on edge to be honest with you, I mean, I guess downstairs the first floor isn't, isn't necessarily the scariest, no. but the most daunting area would have to be upstairs by far. I don't like this place. No. I don't know man, this place is just weird. I like. We've gone to a lot of places, a lot of really sketchy places, and nothing has hit as hard as this place. In terms of energy, like we just, we're all just drained. I've never seen you the way you've been on an investigation. And I've never felt like this, ever. Things just keep happening and they've all happened off camera. <laughs> like it just sucks, but. You know, sometimes when you actually do this stuff, it's not all made, like, um, when you do investigations, you're not always going to pick up on things. You're not always going to get stuff. But the 
feelings you get are just there. They're different. Um, every place you look in this in this joint just feels like something is in there or something's watching you. Do you feel that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially when we came up the steps for the first time, it felt like someone was following us up. Yeah, when we're doing our walkthrough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we heard footsteps follow us too. This haunted mansion hiding behind its beauty and seclusion had found its way into making sure we left with questions and concern. All of us had experienced something on and off camera. We did in fact stay and try and get more activity, but after the SD session, nothing happened at all, and everything became an unsettling quiet, which echoed through the rooms. A loud yet eerie silence swallowed us as we began to leave. But we will be back one day soon, and face against the sins of the father. So, we're done fully drained. We have a very long drive home, about two hours. Not really a lot to say apart from just wow. I mean like, it may not have seemed active with the equipment not really going off too often, but there was definitely something here. Like the feelings that we felt, the responses that we were getting and the noises and the things that we were seeing with our own eyes. It was just one of those places that was very sneaky in terms of how things happen. There's no answers for it, unfortunately, apart from this was one of the first places that we've been to that we were genuinely terrified. Like, and I'm not over exaggerating. It was scary here. Being by ourselves, like fuck. Um, but yeah, I um, just want to thank Dolly from Kind and Paranormal for allowing us to come here. Thank you so much. We love you with all our hearts. I want to thank Shannon from Think Labs Industrial Design for our equipment and thank you to the Night Watchers for, you know, uh, making a pretty cool product, the Grim Pod that went off a few times, which we were happy about. It's the first time we've taken it out. But apart from that, y'all take care. Have an amazing day or night wherever you are. And as always, stay prepared to be scared and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.